Hey guys, just wanted to remind you that you can support the channel if you enjoy this content by contributing on Patreon. You can enjoy all kinds of awesome perks, including custom artwork as I'm preparing here to be mailed to this month's producer, Alex Tucker. And some of the other perks include getting to watch the content early. You get to see the content early and without ads if you contribute on Patreon. There's other benefits such as, as I just mentioned, this custom artwork that you can get. There's also producer credits as Alex is enjoying right now. Alex Tucker is this month's sponsor. And there's all kinds of other perks. So check out the Patreon link in the description and stay tuned till the end of this video when I'll have some Q&A from patrons that I will be featuring at the end of these videos. Do you guys remember the tortilla line I told you about? They're selling them right up here. But look at this. All the way to the corner. Look at this, guys. Wow. This one, this is the fancy train. Look at this. It's got these uh, like wheelchair seats. It's just much nicer than everything looks new. This is the uh, yellow line. I gotta tell you, man, as someone who used to do this stuff for a living, signage, I don't see any behind me. They did not do a bang up job in the Mexican subways. <laughs> I get so confused, man. Try to get through these. This cop had to just tell me at the last stop, which way I was supposed to go to get to the junction point. It was the same deal here. They had a sign down there on the side, but it only points to exit up here. It doesn't say that you come up here for the uh, transfers. This is probably the nicest stop I've been on though. I was just showing you the train, which is really cool. Uh, the Zapata sign was funny. I'll show you over here. So you can see like, it's a dude, but it's like he's an angel, which is funny because when I saw the sign at first, <laughs> I saw the sign and I was thinking, man, is this a UFO? And I was thinking, I don't know, maybe it's a hot air balloon. But then I could see like the mustache and the whatever you call it, the bullet thing. So I don't know, this artwork of him is quite interesting from like the gunfighter perspective. But then what's up with this one over here? Is this just signifying that he like died in battle or something? Cause this to me almost looks like some ancient alien kind of thing, which is hilarious when you consider that I thought the logo was a UFO. Well guys, I think we made it. I don't know how to get out of this place, but I think there's a salad bar this way. <laughs> okay guys, this is what I've been seeing pretty typically for fuel. Right around 20, 22, 23 pesos per liter. Which when you do the math, depending on the exchange rate, it's gonna be just under four bucks, something like 370 something, 380 something, maybe even close to 390 depending on the exchange rate. So just a little bit under four bucks per gallon. I looked up and there it is, we found it. See, this is the bigger store. The one over by me, there is some that are much closer, but they're like these little express locations that don't have much of anything. So I'm hopeful about this store, having everything I need and maybe even a restroom. They do have restrooms here and they have something else that I really like to mess with, a globe. What do you say, guys? Let's give it a spin and see where we end up. Iran? Wait a minute. I'm below Iran. Wherever this pink. Ooh! United Arab Emirates. I've always wanted to go there. I think I was like right on the line between there and this place in Oman. I'm gonna say it was on the UAE side. <laughs> Something I definitely want to check out. Dubai. Well, the cool thing with having a pen that takes any refills is I can buy discounted refills. I don't need any now, but I'm just kind of looking around when I'm in places that have this type of stuff. This is really intriguing, this little zebra one here, zebra pocket. But uh, yeah, they've got like 30% off on these refills. They'll fit in my pen. Okay guys, here we go with the typical uh, funny model names on cars. This is a Nissan Suru. 
What's funnier though than the name and the main reason I'm filming this is this color scheme, man. Look at this. This is like the weirdest color scheme I've seen on a sedan. Gold over maroon. It's like some kind of federal, like federal building for a keto. Is that like a big thing here? Kind of a trip, man. Gotta give this dude some cash. Juggling in the middle of the road. Absolutely. He's getting some pesos. <laughs> I'm here visiting my friend in this fancy apartment building. They took me into this office to wait while they come downstairs. I honestly don't know if they were being polite or if they didn't want a ruffian <laughs> in short pants in their lobby. It's really weird to wear shorts here. I've told you guys about that. Like, I think people look at me like a kid or some kind of scoundrel. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. This is the restaurant, Taqueria El Chalet. See these lights? The guy I told you about who was harassing us at the table was right in. We were sitting right in to the right of these lights, just right in this area, inside where these screens are. So he was like all up in the restaurant, man. He had to go in through the door over here and then go all the way over there inside and was bugging us at our table. So you can see why I was saying that in the U.S. this would just be like not accepted. It's like asking for a fight if you go in somewhere like that and you're asked politely to leave three times and won't do it. The Patreon question for this video comes from this month's sponsor, Alex. And he's asking where my travel plans are going to take me through the rest of my stay here. Let's see if we can make kind of a crude map of Mexico. I think it's a uh, something kind of like this. Right now, I'm in Mexico City. Somewhere, I'll make the dot a little bigger <laughs> because I don't think it's that accurate. Somewhere around here is Mexico City. I think it's a little farther east. Anyway, I'm starting in Mexico City. That's where I've spent the first month or so. Then I'm going to be heading west to Valle de Bravo, which is uh, just past Toluca. And this place has waterfall, it's got monarch sanctuary, huge lake and dam, all kinds of other cool stuff. That's where I'm going to uh, meet up with a potential travel partner. And the plan is that we will head after that, after a couple weeks there, we're going to head over to the Yucatan Peninsula, I believe this is called and the state of uh the state of quintana roo i think is kind of what we're talking about cancun is right over around here somewhere and there's some cool ruins mayan ruins over on that island uh that's probably where i think is going to be kind of the month of may it's going to be getting warm but the rains are going to start to come and cool it down a bit then in june there's potential hurricane activity. So at that point, getting into June, maybe back to a cooler mountain destination. Thinking about Oaxaca, but Oaxaca has this uh, cool kind of festival that could potentially be happening at the end of July. I don't know if that's going to be canceled due to COVID. If it is, this could be an easy June destination without worrying about missing that since it would be canceled. If it is not canceled though, this could be a cool July destination, which leaves whether whichever way that goes with one month being a pretty ideal kind of stay there's still the question of where else to explore june or july if you guys have any ideas of cool places that would be nice temperature wise that time of year and not too hot please let me know if you would like to sponsor this content on patreon as alex this month's producer is and get your question answered like this Please see the link in the description to offer your support on Patreon if you enjoy this content. It would help the channel grow, help me make more of this content, and inspire people to live their dreams now instead of in 20 years. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.